What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and welcome to my level 1 to 99 cooking guide. My previous guide was released almost four years ago and a lot has changed since then with a lot of new methods, changes to prices, but also a large change to the detail of my guides. So this video will cover every piece of information you need to be able to become a master of cooking. I'll be showing the fastest way to 99, a range of alternatives and a section directed towards Iron Man. Cooking is a skill available to both members and free-to-play players. To gain cooking XP, you create and prepare various types of food. All of the raw supplies to train your cooking can be bought off the Grand Exchange, and you shouldn't go out and collect the resources yourself. Cooking is the fourth most common 99 that players have at the time of making this video, only beaten by three combat skills, so it's the most common skilling 99 in the game. Cooking is the fastest 99 you can get as a free-to-play player, and it's also the cheapest viable skill in terms of efficient methods disregarding the slower, profitable methods. So why should you train cooking? You need at least level 70 cooking to be able to get Barrow's Gloves, which requires full completion of the recipe for disaster. Level 70 is the highest requirement for every quest in the game, so you'll need 70 to get your quest cape. You need level 95 cooking in order to complete all of the achievement diaries, where you need 95 to cook a summer pie for the elite Varrock diary. Cooking is also a fairly important skill for Iron Men depending on your play style. Particularly with Ultimate Iron Men, having 80 cooking is very important so you can cook the stacks of sharks that you gather from minnows. The cooking skill cape has a perk where it makes you unable to burn any food no matter what, and this can be utilized to make a lot of profit with foods that have a large margin between the raw and cooked counterpart. So here's all of the important information you need to know before you start training. Cooking food on a range or oven gives you a slightly better chance of not burning your food when compared to cooking on a fire. The difference is very minimal though, so you shouldn't go out of your way to train on a range or fire if it's going to impact the amount of fish you can cook per hour. I highly recommend completing the Family Crest quest to get the cooking gauntlets. These gloves lower your burn rate by a lot when you cook certain fish on a fire or range. For example, when you're cooking lobsters, you stop burning them at level 74 cooking regularly, but if you wear the cooking gauntlets, you stop burning them at level 64. These are the closest fires and ranges to a bank, and you should use these in order to get the maximum possible XP rates. For free to play players, Players, the closest range to a bank is the one in Al Karad, which is over 20 tiles away, so it's not all that close. There's also the Lumbridge Castle range, which requires the cook's assistant quest to use and gives a slightly better chance of cooking your food when compared to other ranges. This difference is quite minimal though, it's estimated to cook at around a 2% better chance. So in saying that, the best way to cook in free-to-play is by using your own fire or other people's fires from people training fire making. As a member, there's two places where you don't need to move at all. The best place in the game to train is at the Myths Guild, where there's a stove right next to the bank. There's also the Rogue's Den Fire, where the banker never moves and is right next to it as well. The Myths Guild is slightly better though, because it's a stove instead of a fire but it does require the Dragon Slayer 2 quest to be able to use it. If you're looking to save money or make more money out of cooking, I strongly suggest getting 100% Hosidius House Favor, and this allows you to use the Hosidius Kitchen Ranges, located slightly south of the Kurend Castle. Cooking here reduces the chance of burning your food by 5%, and this can be increased to 10% if you complete the Elite Kurand Achievement Diary. These ranges are a slight walk away from the bank chest, but if you consider how you get more XP per hour with less burnt food, then it becomes a trade-off worth using. Alright, so now I'm going to move into the best pathway to 99 with a good balance between cost, speed, and clicking. Surprisingly, these methods are also all available to free-to-play, which makes this the best pathway for all players, both free-to-play and members. There are faster methods that are very click-intensive, and I'll be showing those in the alternative section after this one. So from level 1, you'll start off by cooking sardines, which give 10 XP more than shrimps, and 
still only require level 1. To get to 15, which unlocks the next method, you'll need to cook 61 sardines successfully. So to account for burning, you should buy at least 110 raw sardines. You should be cooking these at one of the locations close to a bank that I showed earlier. And in total, to get from 1 to 15 cooking, it's only going to take around 5 minutes. At level 15, you can start cooking trout and the next milestone is level 25. You'll need to successfully cook 78 trouts. So again, you'll need to buy 110 raw trouts to ensure you get there with burning. To cook all of these, it'll take five to seven minutes. If you don't have a lot of money or want to train for free, you can make your way to Barbarian Village and find a world where there's a player dropping the fish that they're catching from fly fishing. Right next to the fishing spot is a fire that you can cook these raw trouts and then drop them and pick up more. At level 25, you can cook salmon. And you can also do the same thing here at Barbarian Village, picking up other players' fish. The goal from salmon is to reach level 35, and you'll need to cook 182 successfully. So you should buy 250 raw salmon to get here. This should take around 10 minutes to do. And in total, to get from level 1 to 35 cooking, you need to buy 110 raw trout and sardines, and 250 salmon, which in total will take you around 20 to 30 minutes. At level 35, you unlock one of the best methods in the game, and that is cooking wines. To cook wines, you need to use grapes on jugs of water. And then after 12 seconds or 20 game ticks, they ferment, giving you 200 XP each. And they can ferment in the bank. Wines can be cooked at any bank. You don't need a range or a fire nearby. Below level 68 cooking, a number of the wines that you make will become bad jugs of wine, and they won't grant you any experience. With that, your XP rates start off at around 200k XP per hour at level 35. And once you reach 68, your XP rates can reach upwards of 480k per hour, and even higher if you're very focused. To get from 35 to 99 cooking, you need to successfully make 65,061 wines. To get to 68, which is the point where you stop failing making them, you need 2,914 wines. So accounting for the ones you fail, this number will be around 4,000 wines. So in total, from 35 to 99, you'll need approximately 66,000 grapes and jugs of water. When I made my previous guide, grapes were around 250 coins each, but at this this time, they're only 48 each, which has reduced the cost of cooking by a mile. If you made 66,000 wines, which accounts for the ones you fail, it's only going to cost 4.3 mil. This method gives the best balance between cost, speed, and clicking, with a really high XP rate for a very minimal cost. In saying that, there are faster methods in the game, and also methods that cost less money. So that leads me on to the next section, the alternative training methods. Barbarian fishing is a method that almost every player does to get to 99 fishing. While you're barbarian fishing, you can use a knife on the leaping fish to get a small amount of cooking XP. If you were to cut the fish you catch all the way through to 99 cooking, you'll receive approximately 1 million cooking XP, which is enough to get you to level 72 without really having to train the skill traditionally. This method is great to consider, especially if you're going for the max cape. It will save you a number of hours if you do this since it removes the need for low level cooking. At level 30 cooking, with the completion of the Tyboy One-Eye Trio quest, you can cook Karamwans, which are the fastest training method in the game. Cooking them regularly while AFKing between each time you need to bank it's not very fast, but you can reach up to 1 million XP per hour if you one tick cook them. To one tick them, you need to hold down the spacebar or number two button on your keyboard, and then you use a raw karambwan on a fire or range every game tick, so every 0.6 seconds. It will take you a bit of getting used to the timing, but once you do it for a few minutes, you'll definitely get the hang of it. At level 30, you burn a lot of karambwans, and you stop burning them at level 9. 99 cooking, but with the Hosidius Kitchen, you stop at level 93, and with the Elite Kuran Diary 10%, 
you stop at level 89. Cooking gauntlets do not work with Karam ones, so there's no way you can reduce that any further. They are, however, profitable to cook. There's around a 150 GP margin between raw and cooked Karam ones at this point in time. If you account for the burning, you'll start to break even at level 70 cooking. So before 70, you'll be losing money, then gradually above 70, you'll be profiting. So basically, this method is great to do above level 70 if you're okay with very intensive clicking and want to get 99 as fast as possible. For those players that want to save some money at a low level, you can cook tuners from level 35 cooking, and these are a great way to get up to 68 cooking where you stop failing wines. From 35 to 68, you'll profit around 50k from tuners. So not a lot, but you still get a decent XP rate of up to 130k per hour. You should buy at least 7,000 raw tuners to get from 35 to 68, where you successfully need to cook around 5,800. At level 80 cooking, you can start cooking sharks, which are another profitable way to level up. Although you do have a high burn rate at 80, so you'll actually be losing some money at this level. These are the levels that you stop burning sharks. It goes as low as level 84 with the Hosidious Kitchen and Elite Diary. But for most players, 89 will be the starting point. You can get around 250k cooking XP per hour, and they're also quite AFK at the same time. If you were going to go from 89 to 99 cooking solely with sharks, you'll make 7 mil in profit. With that, you can do wines up until 89 cooking, and then do sharks to 99, and that turns the losses from making wines into a profit while still maintaining a fairly high XP rate. Before I get into the Iron Man training methods, I have a quick word about my merch store. Following the release of this video, you can use the coupon code 99COOK to get 10% off any item on my merch store. I have huge gaming mouse pads in stock and 24 inch posters in four different designs. So if you want to decorate your gaming setup and support the channel, use the coupon 99COOK on merch.theoatrix.net or using the link down in the description. Now I'd like to talk about Iron Man. I'm going to start with some tips for low level training and obtaining fish, then I'll be talking about the mess hall, karam ones, and jugs of wine for training. As a low level, cooking is very conventional. You'll get the majority of your experience from cooking the fish that you catch with low level fishing. Once you reach trout, you can utilize the fire in Barbarian Village to train while you fish. There's a wide range of other ways to get raw fish that doesn't involve fishing them. Brine rats are a great example. They drop large quantities of noted fish consistently. Ice trolls are another monster that drop noted fish, particularly the higher level fish. Also, both Konar's chest and Laren's chest have drops containing hundreds of raw fish. With 45% Hosidious house favor and at least 20 cooking, you can start training your cooking at the mess hall on Zaya. With level 20, your XP rates are quite low with the servery pies and stews. But at level 65, when you unlock pineapple pizzas, you can get up to and over 200k per hour with some focus. The method involves grabbing utensils and raw ingredients from the cupboards and preparing them into servery food that you put onto the tables in the hall. This method is fantastic for ultimate Iron Man that have some spare inventory space, since it doesn't require you to store any food. This method is also great for regular players that don't have a lot of money. Karam ones are another method great for Iron Men, since you can catch them conveniently by using the DKP fairy ring right next to the fishing spot. You need 65 fishing to catch them, and even at 65, the catch rate is decently fast and the method is very AFK. With the Karam ones, you can cook them by one ticking for very fast XP, or even just AFK cook them if you're not in the mood to one tick. You can also buy Karambwans from the fishing store in Taibro One Eye Village. He stocks 10 raw Karambwans per world, and you can use a fire nearby to constantly train here. The thing is, this method does use quite a bit of money. 
The final method I'm showing is jugs of wine. You can buy grapes and jugs from the recipe for disaster chest and that chest is also a bank which makes it very easy to store them after you buy them. The number of grapes and jugs in stock increases depending on the number of subquests that you've completed for recipe for disaster. If you account for the time spent buying and hopping worlds you can reach XP rates of up to 130k cooking XP per hour. You can also get large stacks of grapes from various bosses. Vorkarth, Zora, the Calphite Queen and the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil all drop at least 100 noted grapes very commonly which amounts to a lot of cooking XP. Overall the fastest method for Iron Men is the Mess Hall if you account for the time used getting supplies with the other methods. So anyways guys that sums up my level 1 to 99 cooking guide. If you didn't understand something or need to revisit some information, you can check out the description for the timestamps of the video. A reminder, you can use the coupon code 99COOK on my merch store to get 10% off any order. Anyways, good luck on getting to 99 cooking. Thank you for watching and stay safe.